Hello, my fellow rushers. How are you doing today? King Rexy here, and today I'm back, and I want to, and I have a question for you that I want you to answer me. Can you beat Kingdom Rush Vengeance on Impossible Mode with only Archer Towers? Well, we're gonna find out. But before we begin, we have to explain the rules of the challenge. Rule number one: I'm allowed to use only Archer-based towers, which include Shadow Archer, Goblin Ranks, Bomb Flingers, and the Swamp Thing. We're just not allowed to use them as a unit. Rule number two, dragons are not allowed. Yeah, we're banning the dragons from this game. Rule number three, on impossible mode, all the way. Yeah, I wanna feel some pain and suffer. And now, for the last rule, we have to beat the main campaign, which is from level one to level 16. And as far as the post game is considered, I may do it in the future. And also an additional rule, try to beat it Try to beat all the levels with 3 stars, just to make it even harder. And without any further delay, let's get right into it! Level 1. <laughs> oh, it's a joke, come on. The first level is always easy. If you can't beat the first level, man, just quit the game. Like, you're not worthy of the King Rush community. Now, I have to talk about the reason why I'm speeding it up 8 times the speed. There is a big reason for it, and it's the only reason why I also hate this game. Basic. Oh my god, the basic in this game, man. It's awful. Oh, I say awful, I mean it! So slow. Almost, almost all the enemies are slow, and there's nothing you can do about it. That's the worst, the worst part about it. You can't do anything, they're just, they're just the way they are. That's really annoying. It's pissing me off! The first levels, I mean, easy. Nothing new, right? The fourth level, honestly, wasn't as difficult as it probably should have been. I was expecting the quarry workers to be a little bit of a problem, but they're not. If you time your reinforcements properly, they're easy. However, in this level, we encounter a problem. Yeah, this level has a big issue. And it is this mecha boy that's coming up out of the world works. And he has a lot of health, a lot of armor, and overall he is annoying to deal with. So Margosa surprisingly take him down. I'm impressed. Honestly. Margosa is a really strong character, I mean look at that. She just uses her beast form and shreds through everything. Love it! Damn I love this character. Now for the last part of the first area of the of the game, we have to be, be this guy, the Golden King, I don't even remember his freaking name, so I'm just gonna call him the Golden King, and he should be pretty easy, right? Well, yeah, he was, even though I messed up my Margosa micro and he ended up getting a little bit further than he should have, at the end he goes down. First, let's get our blessing from this beautiful woman right here, and now we can keep going. So far, so good, I mean... There's nothing really to worry about, thanks to the bomb flingers being OP. I mean, look at that. Look at these skeletons just marching to the front. On the right side, man, we're doing pretty well. And you're gonna see how awesome they are on wave 15. Like, look at that. Look at all these moves. They're not making any progress. I got a Shadow Archer just to help, but he barely does anything, so... Yeah, pretty easy, am I right? This game is too easy. It's already designed. Yeah, what's new? So yeah, this level actually was a little bit too easy, so I decided, you know what, I'm gonna use Gengar Bangers. Only the Gengar Bangers are gonna bring me through this level. And honestly, it was kinda challenging for once. So yeah, maybe I'll do all, can you beat the game with only Goblin Ranks in the future, I don't know. It's gonna be really difficult though, so maybe I'll have to use a Dragon, but we, we don't know yet. Now, however, I end up rage quitting on this level, and I'll let my initial reaction play in, so yeah. Insert initial reaction now. Oh my god. Come on, Jiggle, come on. Come on, motherfucker, come on. Come on, motherfucker, come on. Oh my god, the Tesla did nothing. Come on. No, no, no. You're not getting through. You're not getting through. Are you seriously? Oh my god, god damn it, this is awful. Oh my god, I swear to god, if I find you, I'm gonna get a pincer and pull every single bit out of your furry ass and make you fold white hot coals. While they burn and get crispy, then I'm gonna cut it and feed it to yourself. God damn it, that was annoying. Seriously, right at the very end. Still got the three stars though. God damn, that was annoying as heck. Ugh. 
So yeah, as you could tell, I get pretty angry when this happens. I have a pretty bad habit of having to complete the level NOL, and if that reaction didn't show you how annoyed I was, well, I don't know what will. This level though, easy. And then this guy, Var, or is he supposed to be pronounced Ingvar? At least that's how I think it is. This guy I was expecting to fight him, but no, he runs away. Pussy, come on, get over here and fight. But no, first of all you have to beat the Dragon's Boneyard, which for some reason the first time I played it, that level was actually pretty challenging, even when, we, when I had a good towers. But this time, however, we shred through it. These post, post for, yeah, that's a word. These four giants, we take them down. However, here he is. He's gonna freeze our units with his stupid wyvern, which is kind of annoying, but not that bad. We're using the Doom Tank though, which is our strongest SA in our team, and he's doing a pretty good job. And now we have to fight Jakku, the mother of all dragons. She's coming for us. What is she gonna do? Well, absolutely nothing. She, every now and then she just poops out her children out of this hole, as you can see in the top right. Then she's gonna freeze our towers for a couple of seconds, and she's just gonna pop out icicles that damage our units. Not that annoying, you just have to survive waves of waves of enemies until you bombard her to death. Honestly, interesting boss, but still a little disappointing. Now, we have to fight the final boss of the game. Here we have... Joel Jenkins! Oh my god, this boss is actually really tough, as you can see. Honestly, you just have to kill a man. Come on. Like, this guy costs... is worth the 100 gold for barely no effort, as you can see. And he's summoning his sheep, but they do absolutely nothing to us. Mortimus, just gonna kill them all. And now he's coming for us. He's coming for revenge. He's pissed, but he's a stupid little farmer and doesn't realize that Mortimus cannot die. Goodbye, old friend. So yeah, besides this boss, it's pretty easy. I mean, look at it! The ganger bangers are just shredding through everything. And Mortimus is stalling them with his zombies. <laughs> so far, so easy. The bees are just shredding everything. I'm impressed. I mean, I got two of these guys at the back, but they're for flying them so. Now for this part, I'm just not allowed to use the spiders, I'm, I can't sell them so I'm not gonna upgrade them. And yeah, let's just jump right back into it. Apparently, this part I was expecting to be tough. Because as you can see in the bottom left, people are gonna enter this lock and exit from both ways. And I was expecting it to be difficult, but surprisingly, Ganger Bangers are coming in clutch. Two Ganger Bangers and jack o -Lantern with his goose that he summons from the pits of heck are gonna be able to keep everybody there and kill them. And the first protector of the king, Alaris Swift Wind, have been winded. Now, for the second protector, Magnus, the nipple twisting wannabe Vesna. Honestly, not that difficult. But there is a hard part, which is these guys, the high sorcerers. They're basically frost giants on steroids. They have more health, they do group damage, so my skeletons are doing absolutely nothing, and they turn my people into sheep. But we're napalming them, we're using everything in our power, and eventually we take them down. And this guy goes down as well. Now sadly we have to beat Gerald Lightseeker. This guy used to be, in my opinion, the best free character in the original Kingdom Earth. He was beefy, he was independent, he boosted your units, and he can pretty much stall a boss by himself. No clocking on that one, go check it out, it's amazing. But sadly, now we have to fight against him. We have to fight the one and only Gerald the Lightseeker. The one man army is approaching. Can we beat him? Let's find out. Honestly, look at that. Look at it. He's getting stalled. But apparently this paladin decided to ruin my day and exit. Right at the very end. Oh. Anyway, now we're back in this level. This level actually has two parts. And the second, sorry, the first part is easy. Yeah, for the last level, not that hard. And we shred the wall and we get back to the castle. Here, we're gonna fight the main boss. The big bat. King Dinos! No, we're not fighting him, we're fighting another one of his minions. Oh, this boss is actually pretty sad. It's basically the same guy cloned three times. And he has a little bit of a support every now and then. The cool thing is that we get our own boss, which is pretty cool to see. I like this mechanic in the game. A little bit of a twist right here. 
As you're gonna see, we have our Arc Demon against Paragon. The most boring boss in the game. Can we beat him? Can we take him down? Well, the answer is... We'll see. Although, I have encountered a weird bug, as you can see here. He doesn't even get his third phase, which is beat him in the second. I don't know what happened, but hey, I guess the game wanted to go easy on me. So, in the end, we have to answer the question. Can you beat Kingdom Hearts Vengeance on Impossible Mode with only Archer Towers? Yes! Yes, you can! Oh my god, that was a roller coaster of emotions, guys. Thank you everybody so much for watching, I appreciate you for sticking around to the end. Subscribe if you want to see more of this content in the future. And I will see you in the next video. Until it comes, that was King Rixie. Over and out.